Right, we're coming into Beverly more or less now. Aye aye, sat nav's talking. Whoa. Ah, she likes these roundabouts. Well, this is Beverly, folks. Beverly in East Yorkshire. You don't see many videos with road, um, road videos on it, do you? Come to think of it. Centre of East Yorkshire Council. Yeah, this is Centre of East Yorkshire Mafia. The <laughs> kids who rip us off, otherwise known as a council. Biggest crooks in England. The money goes to Beverly. <coughs> yeah, all the money goes there and then it disappears in somebody's back pocket, if you ask me. Hey, up. Railway crossing's down. All oh, right. Got any jokes while we're waiting? <laughs> no. <laughs> Come on, you must have some. Terrible at telling jokes. <laughs> right. Uh, shall we think of one? I can't think of one now. Not one I can say in here anyway. <laughs> um. Oh, look at that nice head. How sweet it is. <laughs> Oh, look, there's a little bit of wind. And the sun again. Oh, God. You could show some of the houses. The houses, is that what you call them? Barrett Specials, I think. Yeah, never buy a Barrett house. They're rubbish. Or a persimmons. I don't know who made those. They look a bit Barrettish. Yeah, they look like Barrett houses. Two things you don't buy in England. That's a Barrett house or a persimmon house. They are absolute crap. They fall apart as you look at them. They're made badly. They're made from cheap materials. And they're not worth a light. If you want a good house in England, get a 1950s house. Yeah. Must be another train coming. Now in Bridlington, the best house you can get is a Dunk's house. And I saw the last one built by Mr Dunk. And it was absolutely marvellous. He knew how to build houses. But modern houses, and they just are rubbish. I would never ever have them, not even given. I have had one, yes, in the past. Never again. <laughs> Absolute crap they were. The skating boards, we happened to knock against it. And, you know, that's what they fall like. But this one broke in half. It's just like matchwood. If you've ever seen those boxes and used to send matches in years ago, matchwood, it just breaks and splinters, and that's the sort of stuff they put in these houses. They're absolute rubbish. The brickwork's terrible. You can tell when they've changed bricklayers or sacked the latest and dimmer hose they've had doing it. You can see brickwork changes. You can see the change in the brickwork. They employ anybody to, to them lot. There was a thing built at the end of our road, and it was... Uh, Oh, they said, oh, bricklayer wanted. As far as I know, anybody and anybody could go there. <laughs> they didn't care as long as you got a bricklayer. They were desperate. Because <laughs> they don't pay much, and if you get paid, you're lucky, I think. So never buy a Barrett's or a Persimmons. They're absolute rubbish. Now, as we go through Beverly, you'll see nice houses. I'm not sure you will. It's the centre of the town. Yeah, well, they've been built a few hundred years, haven't they? They're still here. Barrett will deteriorate in 20 years. That's the sort of house you want, that's a nice one. Isn't, that's a quality house, you see. But they're expensive in Beverly. Yeah, Beverly's very expensive, it's all snob area, you know. It's a bit like uh, Keller, isn't it? Even these would be expensive. Are these? And yeah, well, I don't think I'd want to even contemplate those. Uh, nice ones on the other side. And there's the crossing. That's not too bad. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Mm, those aren't, are they? Now we go going into Beverly. Past all the Victorian houses. 
which um, at least they stand together. They've gone through to a world war, haven't they? <laughs> They're all about 1900s. And uh, mind you, I don't think they wasted a bomb on Beverly, did they? Oh yeah, they did because it was an aircraft factory at one time. Anyway, as we're going into Beverly, going past. This will be handy, you see, if uh, if there's an accident, we can see it. <laughs> Hope it's not us. As long as it's not our fault, yeah, yeah, that, 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 that's how it goes, isn't it? Yeah, and in England, we all drive on the wrong side of the road, you'll have noticed that, but that's normal. I always drive on the wrong side of the road, even in England. <laughs> Beverly Minster over there. Yeah, just in the uh, background there, you can see Beverly Minster. Left after 200 yards onto the A164. Are you ever going to pay that woman who keeps telling us where to go? <laughs> Here we are, good. That's not bad doing. Oh, God. It's blinking its lights, isn't it? Turn left now. Yeah, and you go straight into a van. <laughs> <laughs> Turn left now, straight into a van. Yeah, we can't even find our way around our own county. We have to have a sat now. I can actually. <laughs> it's sad, isn't it? It has like a lost <laughs> <laughs> We've got a caravan near York and we can't even find it half the time. Speak for yourself. Well, I've come past it twice. No, oh, man. I thought men were supposed to be good at navigation. Not this one. <laughs> <laughs> There's a joke we have in, in Brid about a man who lived in Killam, and there's a straight road from Killam to uh, to Rudston. And he'd lived in Killam all his life, and uh, one day he had to go to Rudston, and he asked for a map. <laughs> he'd never ever been out of his little area of about 200 yards, and he, he asked if anyone had a map, and it's just a straight road, you know. <laughs> Funny lot in Rudston, you know. In the old days, the women used to have to walk three paces behind the men. Now, how was that for feudalism, eh? At the roundabout, 300 yards ahead, take the second exit. sat are good, but on the motorways, she disagrees with it. She says, don't take any notice of that. I know a better way. <laughs> and she does. <laughs> but when you get two women arguing with each other in your car, it's bad, isn't it? Not much interesting round here, is it? Oh, yeah, well, stations on my left. You can't see it. <laughs> you can't. Stations on your left, you can't see it. I like that. Yeah. Coming up to Wednesday Market. And it's Tuesday, so with no <laughs> chance. <laughs> little square on the right. Oh, yeah, but that's quite sweet. We'll probably have a walk around there later. County Hall coming up. Well, I'm ahead of a mafia, yeah, coming up. When they rip everybody off. Is that it? No. That red one? No. Nah. It's on the left. That's on the left. Right, let's put the main mafia building on then. Where all the money gets drained to and squandered. Certainly on the right here, uh, a bit further down. And I'm not sure what that one is. Well, all these buildings are uh, belong to a local mafia or council, as they call them. So there, that's yeah, yeah, that's it. Uh, complete waste of space, like the people in it. Complete load of duffos, just out for what they can fit when they're on this with. Whoops. Sorry. Pedestrian to... decided to cross. Yeah, well, it is a pedestrian crossing funnel in them. What do you expect, a zebra? Uh, oh look, peasants. Hey look, there's peasants walking about. Hey, that's good. You've got peasants. <laughs> there's a funny little double roundabout up here. Oh yeah, there's a very funny little double roundabout. Now, oh, where we go? 
Yeah, you won't get many videos like this. Yeah. Here's that funny little double roundabout. Yeah, it's a, it's a painted one. There's one. It's painted. There's another little painted one. You can't even afford proper roundabout around here. They expect Dougal and Zebedee on it. Do you remember that magic roundabout? Zebedee was a Roman. Time for bed, said Zebedee. And then off he went with Florence and Dougal. Very strange man. Now. Oh, look, we're going on way to Umber Bridge. Oh. That's that big thing that spans a river. It's a bit better than California's. Well, it's a lot better because it's ours. We're not actually going across it today. Well, we're not going across it today, so you're not going to see it. It has no a chance. under its shadow, really. Uh, we're, going, we're going to Essel. It's under its shadow, she says. She knows. How much is a petrol today? I didn't say. It's a car wash. Well, it used to be a petrol station. <laughs> You have to hunt for petrol stations now. We used to have millions of them. Now we hardly ever find one. Mind you, that's a cheap car wash. It was one ninety nine in Britain. Yeah, that, that was cheap. 99. Yeah, you had to go in and get it done. Mind you, by the time we get back to Britain, it'll be mucky again, won't it? I'm cheaper. I bet you are. Be washing cars, that is. <laughs> <laughs> I wondered if you'd add something to that. That's, uh, you know, where we are. Are you all dizzy yet? Yeah? Because I am. Uh, a second exit. Oh, look, more peasants. Oh, look, there's one on a bicycle. Peasant Ubering or something. And they're all car washes. What happened to a, What's happened to all the garages? Do they sell petrol anymore? Amazing. Every garage is a car wash. Probably not enough profit. Hmm. Unless you're a oil company, of course. So if you come to Beverly, bring a few spare gallons of petrol, because you won't find a petrol station here anywhere, or a gas station. We ain't got one. You will. We're well, we're, we're, we're right with our, all right, yeah, but it's always the right, wrong place if you run out, isn't it? Dark. Do we turn left here? No. No. What do you say, Miss Satnav? Let's have a look. Straight on. Straight on. Right. to not disrupt this because every time I touch it goes off. And we're back again. Still on our way to a slow oh, bloody hell, oh, too late. I got that on the back. <laughs> right, we're back again. <laughs> a bit of editing had to be done there. <laughs> uh, it's raining now. Look, that's England and we love it, don't we? We love rain. <laughs> Especially as we've just bought four water boots. Especially as we didn't bring any jackets with us. <laughs> I did. <laughs> and we've got two umbrellas in the back. Oh, yeah. We've always got an umbrella. Never go anywhere in Britain without an umbrella. I mean, most times you get whisked into oblivion by a tornado and hurricanes, but the rest of the time it comes in handy. Hey, my God. I don't know. Now, that, that yellow stuff about the side of a road is called feverfew. It's a wild plant and you can use it to, uh, to reduce fevers with. Just another piece of useless information for many people. And hawthorn bushes on the right, I think, uh, yeah, hawthorn, the uh, hawthorn hedges, you can eat the leaves and makes a nice salad. And if you, those yellow things you, you might just see now and again, little flowers, and they're dandelions. You can get the roots and uh, bake them in your oven, crush them up, 
and they make coffee and the leaves you can eat again. The mine of information. So you can't starve in this country if you know how to do it. I've seen people starving to death and I said, well, why don't you make a salad? Who oh, what with? I said, well, you've got ends over there. You've got um, all these plants you can eat, you know. Oh, you can't eat them, they say. And, and so he goes and picks them and starts chewing them. And they think, wow, well, you can. I said, yes, it's just knowledge. Knowledge is power. Skidby. We're coming up to Skidby, Skidby. and there's Skidby Mill over there, Where? which is a windmill, and they grind flour the old-fashioned way. Yeah, it's nice for Skidby Mill. I mean, we want to go around it one day with this and uh, let them see it. Skidby Mill, where is it then? It's down at all. No, it's down at the right. It's on the right. See, you need something unusual, like a mill, and you're on the map, aren't you, forever? Here's another roundabout, it's kind of take your life in your own job, isn't it? Yeah, oh yes, it's take your life in your own job. English never know where they're going. drove in Spain and I went round the corner of this little street and ended up on a 16 lane highway. God, that was worrying. I had a clue where I was going. Couldn't speak a language. Silly sods just speak English like everybody else. <laughs> well, I mean, it's a daft language, it's Spanish, isn't it? I mean, it's all... <laughs> How can anyone speak that, eh? It was alright when it was in Germany and, and, uh, and France. I speak that, uh, German and French and English. And I speak good Yorkshire as well. But Spanish, oh, stupid language. Can't get my tongue round that at all. You have to have a dialectic tongue for that. No, we didn't see the mill, so we must have missed it. 